Hi everyone, this is Aaron from These Are My Stamps, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a watermark that you might already have to These Are My Stamps, and how you can use that watermark to apply to the cards that you either upload to These Are My Stamps, or how you can just take any, any card picture, apply the watermark, and then download the picture with the watermark uh, to use elsewhere. So the first thing I'm going to show you is where this is at, uh, and it's under the My Profile, and we have a watermarks tab. And what we found out is, is watermarks um, with a width of about 800 pixels and a height um, of about 400 pixels seem to work really well. Uh, 400 is for about three lines of text. So if you want two lines of text or one line of text, uh, reduce the 400 to you know 300 or 200 pixels, um, and that should be good. If you need help creating the watermark, uh, we have tutorials on how to use how to create a watermark using both Pixlr and PicMonkey. So if you go to those, um, we'll show you how to create a watermark if you don't know already. And once you already have one, then you download. Uh, what you do is you upload it here. So, so what I have is I have a dark watermark that I'm going to add, and I'm going to add my watermark by clicking that button, the Add Watermark button. And what you're going to see down below is you can have multiple watermarks. So I have my dark watermark. If I want to delete it, I can click on the delete button. Um, and I also have a light version of my watermark. Uh, it's hard to see on the white background, um, but uh, you can kind of see it right there. And again, I can delete it if I want to delete that one. So you can have multiple watermarks um, for your cards. So how does this help you? Well, when adding a project now, uh, what you'll see is you'll have the ability to add a watermark you'll, you'll have uh, the watermarks that you put in your profile right here so I have a light and a dark watermark so I might try the dark one first um, I can position it in any of these positions so I'll just keep it in the top left and I will save it. And once it's saved, then you should see that we have a watermark in the top left uh, position of the card. And I can kind of see this here, but it's, it's kind of really hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to the light watermark. Um, and I'm going to save it again. And again, you can reposition it if you don't like any of the, if you, if you didn't like this position, you can upload, uh, you can change it to any of the positions around the card, um, and you'll be able to see, see it right there in the preview. And then once we have it, so I can see the light watermark right there, looks a little bit better to me. If I want to view it bigger, I can go to my view card and I can see my watermark a little bit better and I can view the full image and I can see everything looks pretty good to me there. Now since this is my card uh, I have download options so I can also download this in a large medium or small picture. So if I want to download this uh, it will download it right to my computer and I can open it up and you'll see that I have the large image now saved to my computer that I can upload anywhere I want with my watermark on it. Now, if I don't want to upload a project to these are my stamps, we also have a standalone tool called the Watermark Helper. And this functions the same way as adding, adding a card to these are my stamps. I choose my picture. I'm going to do my dark, dark watermark. Maybe I'll do bottom right this time and I will save it and once it's saved we'll see we'll see the picture with the watermark and we'll see some download options with again large medium and small pictures so my download buttons are right here so I can click on any of these to download the different uh, sizes I see my picture here so if I don't like it um, I can choose back to the light watermark or change the position and whenever I'm ready uh, to do a different card, uh, I just choose a new file and I choose my next card and 
uh, you, you can apply the watermarks in the next card and download that card. So this is the standalone tool, and again, it, this can be applied uh, to any card that you upload. These are my stamps as well. So that's how the watermarks work, uh, and I hope you enjoy the tool. Let me know if you have any problems or questions with it. Thanks.